Welcome to the Hypothetically Podcast with Nikki Downtown and Fat Nate. We provide thoughtful and correct answers to probably the most important questions in the world. I'm a New York City-based comedian. Nathan is a New York City-based dyslexic. Thank you so much for being here. We hope you enjoy the show. All right, Hypothetically, episode 48. Welcome back. We got a great guest, Stephen Campbell. Thanks for joining us. Hello, thank you for having me. Oh, he's a new guest, so he also has to make fun of me. Oh, yeah, it's a tradition. You have to oh. insult. Yeah, you have yeah. to say one insult to Nathan to get, have, it, get it rolling. And I had a bad day today. <laughs> it's <laughs> not I, been going well. I, so I'm teetering. I'm not good at the insults and the one roast thing. that it, We were at the roast where there was a guy that I was doing, and he does a lot of jujitsu, and he and I just like said that he had a lot of daddy issues. That was all my jokes. And then I ran them by somebody before. And the person's like, oh, that's intense. You're really going to do this because his dad had died the week before. Um, <laughs> of a jujitsu related. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, he fell off a cliff doing jujitsu. <laughs> they just kept rolling. <laughs> yeah, right. He was in guard uh, the whole time. Um, <laughs> and so then I just like went on stage and I just called him stupid. Like I was like, you're, <laughs> I was like, you're so stupid. And then your turn. Yeah. yeah. Because I was very scared. You're to so do that. stupid that uh, your dad's dead. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it. It was very hard to stay away from. And, and I'm not. I'm not a very good uh, roaster. <laughs> oh, I just have to make fun of you? I didn't know. That was part I wasn't prepared. You, <laughs> you fucking idiot. You put your washer and dryer in the same machine. Fuck you, Nathan. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I did that. I yeah, made the washer, washer and dryer. dryer same yeah. machine? What, did, what is actually, this? Sweden? That's, yeah. that's I had seen a lot of those in Nordic countries. That's the only place. And then they would also have the towel racks where you would hang clothes on them to warm them. You know what would be good in a roast? I, I wanted to let you finish that thought. But, no, yeah, uh, no, it was finished. It, was, it hit its conclusion. But in a roast, if you just kept insulting someone for their dead dad, but their dad was not dead. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. This guy's fucking dad died of cancer. And he's like, no, he did. it's not your turn. <laughs> died of cancer. <laughs> um, you could just roast people and just make things up about them. Mm -hmm. People do too much ro research. Roast, yeah. roast search research. Search. It's just not me. I like to tell silly stories, you know? I'm a silly storyteller myself. I like to do a little yoga, a little meditation, a little mindfulness, a little stretching. Um, but Wait, as part of the roast, you do mindfulness meditation? Yeah, focus on what a bitch Nathan is. <laughs> <laughs> Let everything Block but... everything else yeah. out. What are some samples of things that people have said about Nathan? Oh, really? A lot of psoriasis, Psoriasis. teeth. I Wait. saw that you had dandruff shampoo in the, yeah, in the shower. Yeah, psoriasis. Psoriasis. But yeah. the thing is, is I can't really talk shit because whenever I'm in New York, I get flaky as fuck. And I don't usually like to wear dark colors in the New York situation. And in Texas, no dandruff. You fucking dried up northern winded bitch. It's a pretty bad chronic disease. It's not, it's not fun. <laughs> I have to get shots See, this in is my why stomach. I, this is why I hate making fun it of makes people. It makes me really, it makes me really sick. Dude, and then this Nick is what I didn't want to happen. And then Nick makes me podcast, even though I'm really oh, sick. Oh, that's and not then, that's not the desired result of what the reason said. we podcast so much is because I wanted something to remember him <laughs> before <laughs> After he, he before and, expires. Yeah, and there's a lot of there is a lot of like people have to look. A lot of people have to look at your ass before you can get diagnosed with psoriasis. Oh wow! Could you die by a tough gust of wind that you would flake away? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, like the end of Avengers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like Thanos. When he snapped, he just gave half the world psoriasis. psoriasis. This is yeah. the worst rises ever. And the other half got oily. <laughs> they broke out. Yeah. I don't know which is worse. The psoriasis to death. Is psoriasis painful? Yeah. Okay. It's like all your skin. It's like your skin is like scaly and cracks. Do you think that that has something to do with the lizard people conspiracy theories? Wow. Yeah. Do you Are you people... a lizard person? Uh, no. It's like, it's it's like you, know that, you know the thing like uh, some black people get where their parts of their skin turn white? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. I'm not like a lizard person. I just get like some lizard. You don't think you're a lizard person? No, I'm not all? like full. No, no, no. I just get like the appearance of one. Do you know how they say that a lot of people with dyslexia become very powerful? Like Richard Brand, there's a lot of people that had to like learn how to learn a different way than everybody else because they had dyslexia. Do you think that people of power have psoriasis? He also is, has dyslexia. I am dyslexia. <laughs> oh my, you're gonna be so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be so or really bad at stuff. Really, oh, okay. it's mostly you're really bad at stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm pretty illiterate. Wait, but you can code. Maybe you can code better because you have so much psoriasis. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think that's... <laughs> I think he's the, not distracted by things like friends and women. 
I bet that actually is how it happens for people. Yeah, that's why. I, like that's why I got into coding because I didn't. I couldn't yeah. read, and there's only so many activities to do alone by yourself. How close would you say? Because you were sort of like an outcast for a while, and whatever fad, and no one liked you. Stuff. How close were you to getting red pilled? Would you say? Can I ask? Was the reason that you weren't able to get on all those like eight chan incel chat rooms because you can't? You write? were just like yeah, <laughs> I couldn't find it. <laughs> you kept writing like eight man, <laughs> Jackie Chan. I don't know where is it. I would have gone. I would have gone way further if it wasn't for dyslexia. <laughs> so what's going on with you though? I'm on the East Coast right now. Um, my girlfriend's mother is getting a heart transplant. Mm -hmm. She got a heart transplant. That's when you take a heart out and you put another heart in the thing and you just see the, the heart monitor go and you're like, that's another heart. So is she evil now? No, she's gained superpowers and she's much younger now. Oh, okay, she's yeah, cool. It's it was, a baby's heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, did you get either of you guys watch the the show like Love, Sex, and Robots? No. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Well, they they have an episode where just the premise is uh, there's like a city where everybody's immortal and nobody can die, but to not have overpopulation, they just like kill kids. Like no one's allowed to have children. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. You're in this world, but they were like, we have an even better solution because we don't like the killing the kids. Just nobody's allowed to come. Nobody's allowed to come inside of people. No, no, or just no one's no allowed coming to come. at all. Yeah. So immortality. It, you get to but be no. Yeah, coming. yeah, yeah. No coming. But you've been edging for centuries. Yeah, centuries. Yeah. Do you stay in the city? What do you do? Your balls have surpassed blue. They're a new color that <laughs> didn't even exist. It's, it takes a thousand years of edging. Yeah. It's like color out of space, like a weird violet thing. It's I'm indescribable. Think, I'm thinking like the Shawshank Re Redemption camera angle aerial where he's on his knees he's like ah and he's just calm <laughs> just calm 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 and then somebody comes and just blasts yeah, the back yeah, yeah. Out, yeah. yeah and people are just storming the capitol just coming <laughs> all over the buildings they're like you will not replace us i don't know if that really that applies the, no that wouldn't the, be well they're not thinking they, it's the first time they yeah, ever come come yeah, it's, it's, it's the first time you, just you said some wild shit don't make any yeah, sense right. Everybody's like, ah! when you're here your family <laughs> and then as soon as they come they're like oh i shouldn't what? have done that you, have. we've all had a come that we regretted yeah. The, yeah. When, yeah. I imagine the post nut clarity is horrifying. Yeah. Somebody's got after an eternity. <laughs> yeah. Post nut right. clarity, you're like, I understand everything. Yeah, right. <laughs> the secrets of the universe. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do you think after that long of just not coming, your body would just mutate into like a Lovecraftian horror? A big sperm. Lovecraft. <laughs> yeah. It would, you'd sweat sperm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. It, yeah. If you ran too much, you would sweat out sperm. Yeah. Eventually, you'd have to sit. Just perfectly still. Yeah. Any movement, or if you get startled, you will come. <laughs> like, you would revert it's to out of every orifice. <laughs> you can soak. Oh yeah, you can fuck people. Yeah. Just get drunk and whiskey dick, so you can't. It's hard to come. Or Do you cocaine. just sit in a chain of people that are all soaking in one another. And no one can move. And, no and one, one guy's like, guys, I feel a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> and they sneeze and they all... <laughs> yeah. and they human centipede come yeah. everywhere. And then just one sniper rifle yeah, yeah, shoots through yeah, all of them. He was <laughs> sitting there waiting the whole time. Yeah. Just like, they're gonna sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> it's all fun and games until somebody pepper. sneezes. Yeah, yeah, it's a feather. To, yeah. <laughs> It's like one of those old Looney Tunes cartoons where somebody puts pepper under one of their noses, like, ah, 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 and then he just flows back and then each one who comes comes at a higher pitch slightly than the last. <laughs> Yeah. Come, come, and come, they come, say come, the come, word come. It does make it well, easier. Because it's the first time they've ever done it, so they think you're supposed to <laughs> shout come. I did get an ad on Instagram for a person that has a no come camp where he advertises it as men that are very alpha heterosexual mm -hmm. and they all get together and they don't come for a very long time and then they all jerk off together for a whole weekend and they ba they sunbathe their taints and they jerk off together and it's um, supposed to be very heterosexual and uh, they just talk how much it's an alpha male situation uh, the whole ad and so I haven't made a decision <laughs> but, but all this talk where it's interesting I have yeah. saved the post yeah. right just in case anything I mean, you're getting served the ad a lot Wait, so I don't something yeah, right. I, I don't the, the, you're not supposed to understand the it the tanning the taint feels unrelated to the what is clearly sure you gay men not. jerking off together I mean, straight but men but is it not wild to you that your taint has never seen the sun I'm yeah, seeing protecting the moon. it well but I mean I'm never, saving it. you're never gonna show your no no, taint the sun? no, 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 no. It's what did your taint do to be blocked out <laughs> from the sun forever? Did everyone hear me say mine seen the moon? Did we hear that? <laughs> no, but no, we. <laughs> you said that. Did. I said mine seen the moon. Did your taint ever seen the moon? No. Yeah. I see, just thought it was a funny line. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it was. It's just that we're talking in troops right now. And it's a werewolf. And it's... Yeah. And my taint sees the moon, it gets really hairy. <laughs> and then I fart. <laughs> my butt grows teeth. <laughs> yeah, okay, so then, you know how they say if you don't come, it's like more testosterone, and yes. you become more alpha? Yeah. What if in your society, everyone just has, like, an amazing startup business? Like, every single person's awesome. like, if you're yeah. not a millionaire, by 35, you fuck. Everyone talks like that. Everyone <laughs> takes pictures in front of a Lamborghini. The problem with everyone has, like, abs and is jack, though, which makes it worse. That everyone's super doing well in great shape. Yeah, you, please stop getting so hot. <laughs> do you think everybody would do, be doing well? I mean, is it just because of all the attention that is not spent on coming is now directed yeah, towards think, positive things? Yeah, I think priorities, energy levels spike and More priorities are way different. Yeah, people would, would get When violent. people murdered you, you'd get like so murdered. Like that guy really murdered you. Oh yeah, he'd murder the fuck out of you. And then you know how when you die, you poop yourself? Everybody would jizz. Would jizz, yes. <laughs> They'd be so full brimming with cum mm -hmm. that when they died, it would just explode. Yeah, like out. hitting a yeah. water Blue. The yeah. detective on the seat would have no information. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> There's cum everywhere. <laughs> it would that's how they would ID bodies. Instead of doing like a fingerprint or whatever, they're like, we're gonna take a little bit of your cum. Do one of these situations. <laughs> like, mm. See how far it stretches. He's been dead four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Won't come off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This leads in, I had a cum question. Your goal is to earn the nickname, the the George Washington Carver of cum. Okay. What would you what do? What did George Washington Carver do? He peanut discovered butter. 99 uses for peanuts. None of them peanut butter. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, you can't come up with cum butter. Okay. That's the one thing. You have to come up with other uses for cum that are amazing. I would use it in a chafing dish. What's and chafing? I would, oh, you know, cum you know, oil? You know those like little flame things that are under a chafing dish where you'll have like a buffet and they'll have like a casserole with those little candles under yeah. it? Yeah. There's like a blue gel that's used as the flame, as the, uh, oh, the yeah, stuff that creates the flame. Yeah. Oh. And I believe that you can use peanuts for a fuel. I would use my cum in the bottom of chafing dishes, and I would just constantly keep food warm with my you cum. You get into catering. Yeah, with, yeah, catering. Yeah, with cum. <laughs> like, Steven, hurry up. We need 10 cc's of cum under the lasagna. <laughs> cum catering does have a nice ring to yeah, it. it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's got the alliteration. Mm -hmm. You could get the orgy market. Because oh, everybody's yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, dude, people get hungry at orgies. And they and, need food. And you could cater. And I wouldn't have to pay for fuel because everybody would be coming. Not exactly. Then, yeah, because then we would say, hey, if you're, hey, you come over here. You come yeah, over you here. Yeah, you don't think they're going to be like, hey, if you're going to take the cum from our orgy, we're renegotiating the price? No, I think it's like a green environment environment situation. No. Try to get back. The, this is the hottest summer we've ever had. ESG. You, you need to start a, coming in shaving yeah, dishes. But aren't you worried you're gonna have you're gonna like accidentally be catering my kid's birthday party and you come up to the parent like I need some cum to yeah. do my thing and then it's kind like, of like how moms will do a pump for breast milk so that they don't have to breast yeah, feed yeah, yeah, yeah. in like a environment that they're being social. I would do that with, with the cum. dads. With you make them <laughs> yeah. pump their yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be my, like, you pay your way. If you're gonna hang out, if you're gonna eat my tuna wiggle <laughs> my grandma used to make a dish called tuna wiggle That's nice. it was a tuna That's casserole with bow tie pasta that sounds like something that would come would already be a part yeah, of that right. like as you came up with an answer really fast i was like maybe you could <laughs> Do you, two, well tuna wiggle uses cream of mushroom in it in it one of the things it's a real heavy dish yeah full of tuna and peas and <laughs> bow tie pasta and mushroom <laughs> cream so, yeah, no, I'm surprised you didn't know about Tuna Wiggle. <laughs> Nathan, you got an answer? I was going to say I can't believe it's not cum butter. Because you said I couldn't do cum butter or cum oil. I was going to do pretty sure this is cum butter. It's not. It's Look at the not. nutritional information. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. just cum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can also freeze the cum. And then? People forget you can freeze it and then yeah, stab someone Yeah, I was thinking of it more it. of a gas. Yeah, <laughs> the perfect crime. <laughs> they say you should kill somebody with an ice pick and you do it wrong and do it with your own with cum. Your frozen sickle. cum. So actually it's all DNA. <laughs> right, by the time the detective comes, there's a baby in the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, right. Because he didn't, you know, he had another case. It took him nine months to get there. And then your alibi the is that you know I can't come that much because you've been saving it forever. Yeah. And they're like, that's how you get the out. the person was impregnated through stabbing. Really? It's happened before, yeah. You, they got stabbed in the uterus with cum on the knife. What? I'm not gay. This, like, How did he get cum on the knife? I think he, he was excited about the yeah, stabbing. Yeah, excited about the stabbing, yeah. Kind of beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of cool. The Real macula conception. Yeah. Like, life finds a way. Yeah. Yeah, like, but if you found out that God came on a knife and then stabbed Mary in the abdomen, you wouldn't, I think, it wouldn't feel as much of a miracle anymore. No part of the Bible says that didn't happen. You know how they say in the Bible, Jesus never actually said he's the son of God? Other oh. people would say it and Jesus would just sort of be like, 
<laughs> well, I think the whole writing of the Bible is not Jesus's writing. It's other people's just writing. No, I know, but he, in the Bible, Jesus never says the words, I'm the son of God. Oh, yeah. Others always proclaim it about him, like even in the context of the stories. But then it's like, oh, well, if he's not, why didn't he say he was? Do you think he has a bunch of leading questions to his disciples? He's like, hey, guys, do you think I might be the son of God? Who do you guys think my dad is? Write, yeah. it down. Write down who you think <laughs> the son of God is. Yeah. And then we'll read it. <laughs> we'll read all of them. You know how when you were a teenager there was like a lot of pressure to have sex right there was just like like by were, your like dad and stuff well, yeah, no, no but, i was pretty fat people weren't pressuring there, me there was, peer, there was peer pressure people were like believing that they should be having sex and there's a lot of peer pressure and then how hard do you think that pressure was as an aztec virgin because they sacrificed virgins and so if somebody turned you down they were literally saying i'd rather have my heart torn out and thrown in a pond in front of my friends and family than to fuck then, you to even do hand stuff. <laughs> yeah, to even do hand stuff. Could you imagine how much how hard it would be? Think about the guy that would always talk about sex, but you knew he wasn't having sex. <laughs> that would be everybody in Chichen Itza. <laughs> that, would, that would be everybody in Chichen Itza would be doing that. Bro, you don't fuck. Yeah, right. Everybody. And nobody has the internet, so they're all misguided, and they're just like, oh, you, you know how you'd make up something about sex when you were a kid that wasn't quite right? right. And people would just buy into anything. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then at one point you find out, like, once you become like an elder, you realize nobody is ever. No one's ever everyone's a virgin. I when I was a kid, I thought you came like like you could fill up like a water bottle. Like I thought that's how much cum was supposed oh to come God. out. So I would like I'm sure somebody would say that they'd be like, yeah, I came like a water bottle. And everyone's like, yeah, I came like a bathtub. And then it gets <laughs> and then the one guy who does come is like, oh no, maybe and they should sacrifice me. I don't have any cum. <laughs> I just remember that time period, like when learning about sex. There was a lot of friends that I knew that had done. You're a virgin you're, in Chichen Itza. Bad. Do you think they still slut shame? there because they also kill the virgins well i mean it's like do you want to get slut chamber do you want to get thrown into a pit of fire they i mean if it's for a good harvest right well yeah or, what if you thought fire. that your two choices were i better get really good at farming or really good at fucking yeah because <laughs> i need to there needs to be a good harvest or my heart is getting torn out in front of my friends and family on top of a pyramid. When Wait, you does imagine? that mean all the people that are left are sluts? That just the everywhere well, in Chichen Itza is just the... all the virgins? I think the virgins are picked in. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying statistically, mm. you're going to get like a 60% chance of a slut over a virgin. So what if they're actually just virgin shaming? It has nothing to do with farming. We just kind of filled that narrative in, but they're like, look at this fucking I, lame ass. I hope they didn't even really try to figure it out. They just looked at a guy that kind of looked like yeah. they were a virgin, like we're killing you. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. why? I'm not a virgin. Uh, no, I did so much fucking. <laughs> yeah, like, Tell us about it. Yeah, with that ch <laughs> with that weak chin. No, get yeah, up here. He has I, to go in front of all the elders and tell them about the fucking. He's like, uh, tell us about it. They're like, oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> He did it. He did it. I feel like when you imagine them sacrificing the virgin in these Aztec things, it's always like a beautiful, like, young woman. Right. But realistically, it would be just some dog. Yeah. <laughs> She'd just, Never. he or she would just, <laughs> and you kill them and you're not getting corn out of that. <laughs> Out of that, uggo. What the age you get that weird multiple color corn? You know that fucked up corn? <laughs> yeah, that's maze. why they had the multicolored maze. Yeah, because they kept sacrificing these dumpy virgins. <laughs> <laughs> the gods were not pleased. Also, every single one of them was like 45 years old, 50 years old. That oh, yeah, out. if you're a 50-year-old virgin. <laughs> Could you imagine if that's here. how that movie went? Or you're a virgin, they just killed him. <laughs> At the end. You know what would be a fun sequel that Steve Carell should really do mm. in the next in 20 years? The 80-year-old virgin. <laughs> and people are like, stop trying. And he's like, mm, I want to fuck. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> it won't. Just it's. <laughs> they just hire a Taiwanese prostitute ladyboy. <laughs> can't dad. even just have a regular prostitute. It has to be a Taiwanese ladyboy. Where's mm -hmm. the comedy in regular hooker? Yeah, you know? yeah, it has to be a goofy, fun yeah, scenario. Yeah, sure. Judd Apatow, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know he loves that stuff. They used to play a game where they would take a severed head, and there were these huge rings above the field, and they would play, like, Quidditch. Would you rather live as the player of headless Quidditch? I don't, I don't Do know. Do you think it's just because they didn't have bouncy balls? They yeah. were like, well, virgin heads bounce a little better. They, they, I bet they thought it would bounce. They saw a big fat guy's head and they were like, I bet. And then they tried it and they were like, oh. I think about it like, remember those black and white Nike commercials where they dribble the balls like, do, 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 do. And I think that about that, the, the head just rolls to somebody's foot and they just kick it up and they just start playing with imagine, it all of a sudden. Could you imagine when Nike was trying to find like the perfect or whatever, whatever 
the NBA was trying to find the perfect bouncy ball. They tried everything, and then they got to virgin heads, and they tried it. And like, this is actually yeah, this is the... This, this bounce is just right. Right, but then fucking... <laughs> yeah, they can't use it. Human rights. Oh, do you think the, if the Aztecs were here... Because all we think about them is the virgin sacrificing, and they'd be mm. like, hey, that wasn't even their big thing. For I mean, it happened, but it wasn't like our main... Right. Thing. It and we was, really yeah. didn't think about it. Yeah. We didn't even care that she was a virgin. She stole maids. Yeah, she was a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so I know what he would have sex with her. How do you think that the Aztecs actually died? They disappeared. Do you think it was like a red scare situation where everybody was accusing each other of being virgins? <laughs> yeah, <Lord Carthy. laughs> Yeah, right. I think um, the conspiracy theory, I don't think they, I think they're hiding. I think they're, I think they're in America somewhere. Yeah. When you go to some small town in Wisconsin, it's just, you know, naked as. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is that huge temple? Don't it, worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You walk out of the and you, That's a Denny's. Just, <laughs> yeah. And once a year, a virgin disappears from yeah, yeah. Chichen Itza. <laughs> yeah, you, you walk Chichen up. Itza, Wisconsin. Chichen, Chichen Itza, Wisconsin. You walk up, are you an Aztec? And they're like, are you a virgin? What? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine we lived in a world where in like Grand Theft Auto, if you murdered somebody, all of their money became holographic cash stacks of cash above them. That part. And all you have to do is run through it and you right, get it. and you get it. What would that do to our relationship with billionaires? Wow. Cause I was thinking how fun it would be if Bezos was on his rocket and before he got to the stratosphere, it exploded and, and it just rained all of his cash all over the world. I, I feel like it would be like Grand Theft where it would just oh, sit there suspended. There. Ooh, yeah. yeah but like you want, it would like black out the, how much money Money they have you could like take the stack of bills and go to the sun wrap around the sun sure. like 30 times so if jeff bezos died it would in the sky it would create what a poetic way for capitalism to end it literally <laughs> it blacks, it out, blacks the out, sun, out the sun and we all die it's like the extinction of the dinosaurs yeah but with just cash that's actually how the dinosaurs went extinct too much cash yeah, money <laughs> Yeah, late, just really late stage capitalism got him. <laughs> yeah, right. If I was a, like a financial advisor and somebody told me that, they were like, you know, with Bezos' money, you could take it and wrap it around the earth 30 times. I'd be like, but don't do that. <laughs> don't. You should invest it in. A, <laughs> could you we imagine? suggest a hedge fund stay with the market. Yeah, say that's a little in too our, aggressive. In our experience, yeah, <laughs> wrapping your money around the earth is a little. <laughs> You're a little risky. You go outside, you see Jeff Bezos just putting dollar bills yeah, on the yeah. ground. He's like, I'm just trying to prove it. It's going to be gotta cool. got to spend yeah. money to make money. <laughs> and then it rains. No, 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 no. <laughs> a light breeze hits. <laughs> what if you, like, you know how the submarine person just died? Mm -hmm. And they were just an Stocked idiot. in a rush. It, whatever. They're an idiot billionaire that had too much money to spend on going on a stupid excursion. What if you tried to catch billionaires? by making more ridiculous excursions for them to go to. No, but then you're going to have a really dangerous spot that's going to have a bunch of money. So people are going to keep trying to get there mm. and they're going to die and then there's going to be more and it's going to get poorer and poorer because they need the money. Yeah. So you're and just going to see people in a barrel just trying to go to the Titanic. That's my favorite theory of the Bermuda Triangle. Mm. That's that's what I believe the <laughs> yeah, Bermuda Triangle just, is. There's a bunch of money it's, yeah. right in the middle. That's why people disappear and they say it's not really theirs because they want the money for themselves. Right. So you should take a sailboat into the Bermuda Triangle but only if you want to get Rich as fuck, dude. You know how the the sub that exploded or whatever was piloted by a game controller? Yeah. What if right before it imploded, he hit pause, <laughs> and they're actually still down there? Oh, wow. Pause. What if you broke the joystick because he was trying to spin the propeller so fast? Yeah, he was, was trying to shoot the Hadouken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was just trying to do codes. Quarter to circle, quarter circle. <laughs> do you think it would be alarming if you were on the submarine and you heard the controller rumble? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just take damage? <laughs> what the fuck is the rumble? Like, you're like, shut up! <laughs> think about a video game where you got really mad and, like, threw the controller. Think about that guy. He must have been so... He's like, oh what the God. fuck? This yeah. thing's broken! <laughs> <laughs> How do you wave dash again? I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. What was your original question? With what tech? if oh, we the, lived in a world money. where money just... Mm. What would that do to our relationship with billionaires? There'd be a lot more murder. There'd be a lot more. There'd be a lot of hit and runs. I think you're right. I think there'd be a lot more murder of normal people by billionaires. Any sudden movement, they're mm. like, you're not taking my holograph money. <laughs> sure. And that would be a very easy way for them to just collect money. They would probably monetize that very quickly. I mean, I guess, you know, isn't that what they're doing with our attention? <laughs> yeah. <That's> what... <laughs> yeah. We'd like to think here at Hypothetically, we're fighting against how people are trying to capture your attention. We make a nearly unwatchable bug. <laughs> people watch us for five minutes and they're like, yeah. I gotta get outside. Yeah, feel some grass. <laughs> 
What if you discover the Illuminati is real, but like they suck now? It's like one of those organizations that used to be big back in the 80s, but now it's like four people. It's like not cool anymore. And they're like, you found it. Don't tell anybody. And you're like, tell anybody. It's two of you guys. <laughs> right. What do you even talk about? Oh, we're behind the scenes. I feel like they just talk about the times that yeah, it's yesteryear. All just yeah, it's just stories. Hearing about Everybody has the... weird nicknames. Remember Flappy Joe used to... <laughs> he, that guy fucked. <laughs> he put on deer antlers and fucked. The president, like, just controls, like, the flow of asparagus from Chile now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even he just has influence. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not even really. You guys are the Illuminati. <laughs> like, don't send so much asparagus there. Yeah. Your this... days are numbered, Mr. Asparagus. How much in the actual Illuminati, when they pull pranks on each other, do you think they say, hey, you're being a little uh, Illuminati right now? <laughs> hey. And then every time everybody laughs, they go, oh, 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 oh. they do an evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. Illuminati. Yeah, no, I got it. Illuminati. <laughs> but Oppo, actually, what they did is like some fucked up, like regime change thing in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was a little so Illuminati of me. Stop. Could you imagine someone does a whole regime change and at the end they do those, like they do a bunch of annoying Illuminati puns? One, he's like, no, no, I just like the I just, like, yeah, that's their <laughs> only like calling card. You know how people say like they do this, but it's, or they put their hand in their pocket like this. Do you know what I'm talking about? There's a lot of people they say they're in the Illuminati and in the Rothschilds and stuff like that, that they put their hand in their inner pocket like that when they take their pictures and their big portraits and that's their like calling card and so is this the triangle and that's why they say that Jay-Z and Beyonce are in the Illuminati so what if instead their calling the, card is just annoying what if just saying the calling card? I'm being Illuminati <laughs> it's like not in it's out in the open <laughs> Yeah, it's what if really annoying. Yeah, right. what just if the most annoying people of high society are the Illuminati. Yeah, right. What if the symbol for the Illuminati was this thing? <laughs> yeah, <it's> just, <laughs> and when okay. you see it, you get sat tapped so you never focus on <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, what was I just doing? People are getting punched all over the world <laughs> because we are the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they take over regimes. They yeah, do that. Right. They the nuts. Like, I own your country now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, what would be the first change that you would make? To if, the lame Illuminati. Because now it's only four yeah, Illuminati. Yeah, yeah. All the yeah. meetings are all like bowling alleys and like yeah. roller rinks and stuff like a b-dubs or something yeah a bunch of people wearing letterman's talking about the bay of pigs <laughs> they can't even afford they have to go on like a happy hour can't even afford the regular yeah, prices. Why are the meetings at four <laughs> you're like on a tuesday because long islands are only six bucks <laughs> you're like looking for a job on indeed you're like is this real the illuminati's like putting job applications yeah. it, is it diverse is it the same? they're working on it that's they keep the, insisting strongly that they're working the on it that's the only thing that they've done they've made changes to be more diverse yeah there's a robust hr department in the <laughs> yeah, illuminati right. yeah, they don't get heads of goats anymore that's like too expensive they and just go to the vegan. store and buy like just cuts of beef <laughs> yeah well they're vegan now all all rich people are vegan they've sure. given up on meat they talk about how they like manipulated the hoa and you're like dude shut up i don't care yeah, <laughs> yeah it's really it's like hyper local politics <laughs> yeah. there was supposed to be a stop sign at this corner and uh but, they, <laughs> but what's weird is they're just as like they'll murder people still like that hasn't changed it's just the stakes yeah. are awful they're <laughs> <laughs> do the same. The stakes are low. Well, everybody's all involved with who's the main guy, but what's really important is local politics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Illuminati that is in your neighborhood. The Illuminati is at every level. Yeah, but you don't want to be the Illuminati of local elections. That's not... Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be worried about parking and, <laughs> and whether or not a park's going to exist. And then you go to the Illuminati conference and people are like, what do you do? He's like, well, I, yeah. I, I, I'm I, yeah, in charge yeah. of all child sex. And he's like, what about you? He's like, I, you, you know all Mississippi, this one region of Mississippi parks... Yeah, I'm, I'm one of three. <laughs> if you catch more than six trout, yeah. oh, I'll find yeah. it. Yeah, I'll find. But I'm out. not the only guy. Well, there's a few of us that do the yeah, trout right. thing. It's tough. <laughs> I'm still working my way up. You're at a grocery store and you you're just getting regular groceries and you leave for a minute to go to the bathroom. When you go back to your cart, you're like pretty sure the guy over there just touched all your fruit and vegetables. You're not like a hundred percent, but you're like pretty sure he's he got walked that up. Look. To, yeah, he, he looks like, like he, he walked just up touched to your my apple. What, yeah. evi what evidence do you have? You it's have just, no, uh, you just, just his vibe. Look at his fucking, it's an how intuition. he's looking at your cart and everything. You you're like, dude, did you walk over and just like you know how it like, comes in a bag? Like yeah. he took it out of the bag, and just put his oh, hands wow. up, put it. You're like you don't know. But you're pretty fucking sure he did that. What do you do? You go to the um, manager and try to get the security tapes. <laughs> yeah. You realize there was a blind spot. Yeah. There's a blind spot. <laughs> right he, where your cart in the man. But he followed you the whole way there to yeah. the bathroom. So you, you know that that part. Yeah, yeah. You look, you go back weeks of security 
and you see that he's been staking the place. Yeah, he's always in that blind spot. Yeah. He's always in that blind spot. And so first thing I would do... You see videos of him touching people's fruit in a bunch of other spots yeah. and them figuring out because Dave went and found the tape. Right. But then he finds the blind spot on the camera. Yeah, I would go... So then I would dust all of his fruit for prints <laughs> and then dust my mangoes. Cross-reference. <laughs> Cross-reference. And that's when I would have at least one piece of evidence. But you also need motive. But it's tough to walk up to another person without any evidence. Be like, hey, can I dust no, your no, no. fruit Simple. and vegetables for... Simple. You go, excuse me, <laughs> sir. <laughs> and then you dust. And then you're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Let me get that off. And then you do it with that little makeup brush so that, that they you use. Brought. And then, yeah, and then, and then while you're brushing, it's like, don't worry about it. He blows it away. He's like, fuck. You knew. Yeah. He knew the whole time. Yeah. He's ten. You yeah. think he's ten steps ahead? You don't think he? You realize he's wearing like biker gloves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's uh, he's done that thing people do where they like <laughs> they like burned off the yeah. tips of his yeah. fingers yeah. like but in then, seven. But then when he blows off, you think that then you try to do a James Bond situation where you go in for a kiss and you start kissing him and you feel his butt. Two avocados. <laughs> <laughs> so you two av and you don't know who they are, but that's fishy. That's that fishy. Is fishy. And you don't know you but you then you go and you're like and you're like what are those? He's like those are my testicles. And you're like you're testicles are in your butt and you smash it <laughs> they were his testicles <laughs> the whole time yeah, it's a, he yeah. has testicular torsion he has to go to the hospital and yeah. he didn't he didn't touch any of your fruit or vegetables right yeah, yeah he right. just crushed this man's balls yeah he worked there actually he was putting broccoli inside of the shelf well all right a secret agent who's got to get a dna <laughs> sample from a, a a beautiful woman and he comes back and you realize that they just had disgusting sex and she'd like <laughs> shit in his mouth and stuff and he's like, I got it. And you're like, you're amazing. <laughs> the, the evidence was ballooned up his ass just like heroin mules. Mm -hmm. And so then he had to just Wait, this might be too gross, but my my friend's uncle, he was in Vietnam, and he said they used to go to this brothel. That is gross. They, Baby kill. <laughs> they used to go to this brothel where, where there was this one lady, and she would bet all the soldiers as much money as they had that they could not shit on her face. And so they would sit on a chair with it cut out, and the lady would sit under the ass and blow to pucker the butthole. <laughs> And they said that 100% of the time, nobody could shit on her face. And so many people tried. And then he said there was this How guy. How many times did her face get shit on before she found a defense for it? Right. Like, it's not right. the first. Yeah, like first, she tried <laughs> first she tried shushing the yeah, butt. Yeah, and she I like tried to think jokes. of the montage yeah. with, like, fucking Eye of the Tigers. Like, dun, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And then just, yeah, just yeah. explosion of diarrhea in her She face. tried screaming no. Yeah. She tried screaming stop. <laughs> But all the drums, yeah, <laughs> poop. Yeah. Um, so then there was this guy, and they called him Tank. And then she was like, nobody can shit on my face. And it was like in a movie, the fucking saloon doors open up, and he's like, I'll take that challenge. And he put the $100 down, and he sits down, and as soon as she slides her face under before she even bug her, he just explodes diarrhea. And her face... <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. <laughs> and those are the war stories that they don't tell That's you. That's why he has PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I right. shit right in this woman's face. They yeah. say war is hell. War is, war yeah. is hell, you know? That was her Vietnam. That was... That's, that's the PTSD <laughs> that she has. Her face. Yeah, 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 she has PTSD, and she's like, what war? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. mean those four years when people come in and shit on my face? <laughs> do you think it's like he had to do a poker face? Like he was holding in a shit. He had to go and acting like he didn't even have to shit that yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, He's like, dude, he's sitting there with pocket aces yeah. trying to pretend he's right. got like twos. He's got these the glasses day before, on. They're just like crouched through the jungle. They're like, so there's this hooker uh, <laughs> down in town over there. She says that nobody can shit on her face. Yeah. <laughs> they just keep on going. They've got like the trooper, the trooper fucking storm thing on. And they just keep on walking. He's like, I'll shit on her face. And then he held shit through a whole firefight. And then two days later. Yeah, like, you know those you know those stories of those snipers that sit in the grass for like six days? <laughs> yeah. to shoot he was like that. Just that was had to shit for six days. People are like, God, a fucking a, legend. He shows up in a ghillie suit. <laughs> <laughs> Someone doesn't realize she means shit in her face in that moment. Yeah, what do you mean? Hides in her like bedroom, just sleeping. I shit on your face. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the. Uh, I oh, should have like, clarified. That's on me. Yeah. This one's on me. Yeah, I should have clarified. Yeah, do you think she, when the guy did shit in her face, she was a good sport about it? She was like, ah, I bought him a beer. They, they took a picture beer. or something. Yeah, she just adds it over <laughs> the rest of the shift. Yeah. I shit on a hooker's face, and all I got was his stupid shirt. <laughs> Never like, doubt the might of the American military. Yeah. 
right? we could do anything. That's what Eisenhower was talking about with the military industrial complex. It's no joke. Yeah, that's, that's, people say we only dropped the bomb twice. <laughs> yeah, right. Three times. Once Three in Vietnam times. on a hooker's What's face. What's that line they said when they first dropped the atomic bomb? I'm the, I am become the dad. dad. <laughs> yeah, he says I am become dad. <laughs> but he's grunting through yeah. it. Did you ask it? It was you. Oh, yeah. Because we were at the store Yeah, 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 yeah. the store. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was, a guy touches your fruit. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, you don't know, but you're pretty sure. I would go to the front because we have to build a case. You need motive and you need opportunity. You know opportunity was in the blind spot and you know that he was there. You're right? Nancy. He drew this, but you need mo- I'm Hardy Boys again. Okay, oh, okay. get it's the different. fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drew's a girl. Don't gender me. Yeah, and so sure. Then I would go. I would. You know what I would do? I would go up to the front and I would call him. I would say, "Hey, um, I lost my son. Can I get on the microphone?" They say, "Yeah." I'd be like, "Hey, you stupid bitch! You never touched my fruit again." And then he would get angry, and then everybody would see that on the tape, and then you would lie about the chronological order and get motive. Oh, I see. Yeah, you yeah. get motive. Everybody sees publicly. Oh, you got, I've been watching yeah. a lot of Lincoln Lawyer. It's not the good. Show? It's not good. Don't do it. Was, You've heard those things about like early, like trial lawyers when they started the stories. They'd like, I used to throw up before every case. Just like. Oh, I don't talk to lawyers. I'm not fucking lame. <laughs> yeah. I had my problems with these. <laughs> Just a, a lawyer who's telling you that story, but he used to throw up like during the trials. <laughs> Just couldn't help. You're up. <laughs> <laughs> you new <knew>, son. <laughs> In closing. <laughs> Maybe you could fix a jury that way. You would want them keep to throwing keep, up yeah, on keep the throwing people. up on the jury. <laughs> and then eventually they're just like, we just want to get out of yeah, here. Yeah, the judge is like, please, you can't, you can't leave. You need to keep... Ju- I don't care. Just guilty, but then whatever. When, when I see vomit, I vomit. <laughs> and then the whole jury is like... Yeah! <laughs> and then it's just a hung jury. And then the whole court would be dismissed. I didn't go to law school, but I know a thing or two about throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that shooting in your face story. That's very charming. It's a great story. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it doesn't paint me in a great light, but it's fine. It's just, that's war. No, that's war. Yeah, that's better than the other stuff war is. I would say getting, like, shitting on a prostitute is the the best part of war. (laughs) Yeah, how many people came back from Vietnam and that was their big war story? (laughs) Think about how many of them came back. Did you ever kill anybody? Yeah, 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 but listen to this. (laughs) That's a story my friend's uncle would always tell him as a kid. He said he told it to him all the time. Yeah, and but think about how many of them came back and didn't shit on that prostitute. Like, the, yeah. the blowing thing worked. And they just came back yeah. and they were, like, pent up and frustrated. So what if, if, I, that's if I could just, do it all over again. What if the, the real thing about it is it's just a, the whole story is made up. It's a wife's tale. So all these people think you can blow on a guy's ass and it'll make him not shit on your face. But it's not true. So, guys, guys, they think it's this cool party <laughs> trick. Guys, friends. check this out. Ah, shit on my face! My friend actually did it! My friend actually did it! I told the story, he believed it, shit right on his wife's face. (laughs) He actually did it! Yeah, practicing that, she gets out of breath. Yeah. (laughs) Poop starts coming. Did you ever see the person blow the ping pong ball up in there? Yeah. It's just shit fountains coming out of her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've just never had somebody blow on my butthole like that to pucker it up. So no, I just yeah, I, I can't verify that story. Um, it's just I have, but I wasn't trying to show. I like I was the trying idea to that down. like all the like all those people that are like, oh, we need to teach kids in schools more practical skills, and one of the skills is we teach them how to blow. Learn your finances. Learn how to prevent a yeah. man from shitting on your face. Yeah, yeah. You prevent an army ranger. <laughs> <laughs> is or, there a marine about to shit on your face? You have two options. <laughs> or if you're just like, oh my god, I don't know if I can go much further. I might shit myself. You can put one of those things from the dentist that blows a air, prostitute. air out of you. No, no, no. no, no. My dentist has no prostitutes. I have bad insurance. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But one of the those air guns that shoot plaque out, yeah, yeah, yeah. you put that up your ass <laughs> to make sure that you don't poop yourself. Poop yourself, yes. We've talked. Okay, so we've covered cum. We've That'd covered be crazy poop. if you were trying to get a, a veteran discount and they're like, prove it. And you're like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like that's just right. <laughs> that was hypothetically episode 48. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a moment, please leave us a review or leave a comment or share. It really helps us out. If you want to hear the rest of this conversation, head on over to our Patreon. And here are the Patreon questions. What if your Siamese twin was a piece of shit? Why does Steven keep getting ads for tiny window smashing hammers? What if you knew your parents were having sex wrong? Would you rather give 90% of a blowjob or have caused Chernobyl? Do deer freeze in the headlights because they're guilty? And finally, what if someone asked to borrow your plunger and then took it home? So if you want to hear that, head on over to Patreon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.